everybody, Earl at thelogbook.com. We are back for the summertime months on Voyages of Shelf Discovery. And we're going to try something a little bit different. I was kind of running out of theme ideas. I've been trying to theme stuff, and there will still be a few themed shows, but I, uh, you know, I was looking at what I have that waiting to be opened, and, you know, kind of noticed that there were going to be recurring patterns, frequently recurring patterns, and so I thought, why don't we do, why don't we pull stuff out of a grab bag? And so it's it's not really a grab bag. It is a grab box. Um, actually, it it is a very well loved uh, twenty dollar Walmart storage ottoman that had this uh, lovely repeating pattern of Kenner Star Wars figures printed on it. So as you can see, I've got it loaded with everything waiting to be opened. There's just one problem. I started this show once already and then ran into a technical problem right in the middle of it. And so I opened and assembled an item from the box. I actually have another one waiting to be opened here. So yeah, this one has kind of gone sideways already. What I opened was, uh, this is a figure with sound also known as a stage figure, and basically what it is, is it's a little video game scene, immortalized in plastic, on a base that contains a sound chip that plays, uh, you know, a little bit of sound from that game. Now, I've been collecting these for some time, but the ones that I had, prob I'm going to say around 2005, I got most of these off of eBay, and the ones that I had were all Namco games. So we're talking Mappy, Galaxian, Rally X. And they're, they're cool little display pieces. But these are um, Nintendo. I had one that I had already opened to make sure that, you know, these were in good condition. Because, again, eBay, it's a, it's a lottery every time. Um, however, this is the one I just opened in the uh, recording that went nowhere, it is uh, Mario Brothers. Nothing about it moves. Um, as you can see, there's kind of a pegboard style arrangement, so you can remove the characters and uh, move them around. Now, the one that I had opened uh, quite some time back is a similar one, except it is for Super Mario. And it, that's all the sound it plays. You can, you know, you can rearrange the uh, the characters on the scene if you like. But uh, these are these are pretty cool and they actually there is a specific place I display them. But I think we're going to save that for one of the themed shows because it's um it's an interesting display setup. Okay, so the other thing that I already pulled from the grab bag is Thor from the uh, the Marvel Legends Retro line. I love the uh, three and three quarter inch Marvel Retro Legends, just because. I mean, how can you not love that you know kind of Silver Age? artwork that they have going there and the figure is based on that so you know this is not this is not tom hiddleston this is loki from the comics so let us free loki from his plastic prison Kind of an interesting thing. I have been reading recently that due to supply chain and material issues, the days of the blister card are numbered, and we're already seeing we're already seeing the sea change in real time. There are um, numerous Star Wars figures 
on the immediate horizon that will not be coming in blister cards with a clear bubble. They will be coming in a printed box. So there we have Loki. Um, kind of an interesting balancing act with <laughs> with his headgear there. That's a that is a great figure based on the original the original comic art. Gotta love it. Um, since we had since I started recording this once already and we had issues. Let me kind of... The idea is that I reach into the box and grab something that I have no idea what it is. Or at least I try to. <laughs> try not to fall out of the chair at the same time. And we've got... Uh, oh, okay. Boy, this is, a, this is a variety show. We have an Eagle Moss ship. This is uh, the Shuttle Galileo from the original Star Trek. And... Um, this is actually part of Shuttlecraft set number one that Eagle Moss does. So I I opened the outer box and put the uh, put the individual vehicles in here in the grab bag. Um, as always, we have the Nito kind of mini translite going on there. Um, Done not in 24th century Elkar style, but in the sort of in the somewhat simpler 23rd century style, which is certainly appropriate. We have the weighted base for the stand, which does not want to be opened. That'll teach me to not keep scissors here. Okay, so we have our stand, or, or we have the base of the stand. Uh, the shuttle shuttlecraft sets usually just have a little platform that goes in the stand somehow, some way. I promise it does. All right. So there's the stand. Well, this is a this is a show for the connoisseur, giant Loki menacing shuttlecraft Galileo, which this is this is the original, which I very much I love this design. I, I know I've opened some various uh, you know they've made some various Matt Jeffries concept shuttles that were designed for but not used on the show. Oh, wow, the nacelles are uh, translucent. It has the uh, the rear landing skid. I can tell you that thing feels kind of flimsy. So... Uh, this, this one goes on a high shelf somewhere. Nice little, uh, nice little model of the Galileo. Let me relocate Loki temporarily. And, uh, because this thing will actually, not not smoothly, but it will rotate. Or at least that's the idea, that it rotates. Maybe not at all. Well planned out show, as always. Um, so... Ah! <laughs> so there you have it. That's the sort of thing that is likely to, uh, to happen with these grab bag shows is I have no idea what I'm going to be opening. Uh, I will probably not be prepared to open it properly. But, you know, I've got something that I can kind of, sort of display it on. So, uh, okay, so, so here's a different take on the giant green hand grabbing the Enterprise. It's Loki towering over a shuttlecraft. While Super Mario music plays in the background. So join us again for the next installment of the grab bag. Who knows what will get pulled out of here.